Disaster must come. At best, only postponed. Shaolin Kung Fu. To survive must now be taught to more young men. Welcome once again to another episode of Fist, Kicks, and Flicks, the podcast about martial arts, movies, and life. I am one of your hosts, Eugene Plowden, and with me as always, my podcast partners, Joe Hartley and Angel Diaz. What's up, fellas? What's up? What's up, man? If this is your first time with us, I want you to know we are members of the Martial Arts Inner Network. On Tuesdays, we got the Inside Scoop with Alex and Jeff. Fist, Kicks, and Flicks is on Wednesdays with Gene, Joe, and Angel. And every other Thursdays, you can get the traditional way with Brett Shumway. If you're looking for more information, just check us out on all of our social media platforms. Just look for the Martial Arts Inner Network on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Fellas, it's showtime. And Angel, who is that with you tonight? Yeah, I got my special guest, my girlfriend, Jaden Tewitt, out here. So, yeah. Uh, by the way, you keep forgetting about the extra scoop. No, no, I didn't forget. I, I, I know. <laughs> I guess, so I talked with Trav. I'm gonna tell you, I talked with Trav about extra scoop. Yeah, and he told me um, when it comes out. You know, now you told me it comes out every other Thursday, but Trav told me it's every other Wednesday because they record it on Wednesday and they go live, oh, okay. like you know, inside scoop. And I said, you know what? That's too fucking confusing for me to try and remember. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to even try to do that. I kind of wish they were like opposite but i know it's only i know it's only once uh a month with them he yeah. told me that. so mm. he told me it's once a month i would like it if it was twice just so i could just say that you know they're they are the opposite weeks of the traditional way it'll be so much easier and it'll flow so much but i can't <laughs> figure it out so you know what angel from now on that's your job this <laughs> <laughs> you. your job you. hey, you're sorry. gonna be the one to tell me that you over there talking about Trav, but I thought it was hilarious. He said it's time for him to leave Michigan now. I said, Oh, this man gonna go down to Florida. He says, well, Yeah, you know what? Yeah, he's an, actually I talked I talked with Trav on Thursday, Thanksgiving, and I, I asked him like when was he leaving? <clears throat> he's leaving, actually, he's leaving Tuesday, so it's already planned for him to go. Oh, okay. So he was like, I'm about to go to DC, then I'm gonna have to go to, back to Atlanta, then I'm about to come back to Florida. And I'm like So okay. then go to Vegas. Yeah, because he's going to be – my parents get down to Florida. They get back down there on the 10th, and Trav will be there before them. Mm. Yeah, and then at some time – at some point go to Vegas, yeah. Yeah. They just turn on all the stuff for him while he's there? What do you mean? Like like turn on – like is the heat and all that stuff still running when they're not there? Or they they shut it off and turn it back on when he goes? Well, you know what? Um, I'm quite sure they probably just let it run, but I, I mean I don't know how much heat they need in Fort Lauderdale. (laughs) <laughs> but I meant like AC electricity. Yeah, all that yeah, yeah. I'm quite sure the electric. I don't. I can't see them. You know, cutting that off because you know, you know, up here the stuff stays on, and yeah. it's a good thing it does because sometimes I gotta go over there. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, it's been a couple times where I've had power outages here at my house, and I've had to go over there and spend the night until my power came back on. You know, okay. so yeah, so it's 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 fine. It's fine with me. Thank goodness. All right, let's get into it. The show. Joe, what's going on with you, man? Well, let's see. It's been about a week, so we had Thanksgiving. Actually, over a week. Uh, it's been two weeks. Yeah, over a week. Talk. Um, you know, I had Thanksgiving. Uh, brought my mom to my mother-in-law's. Um, saw my whole family. Uh, my sister-in-law, she's having uh, her second child. She did a. She was real cute about that. Um, she brought her her one-year-old, and then she had a shirt on that said "Baby Sister." And my wife was the first one to notice. So yeah, so that is this, baby's. Uh, is this great? No, this is my sister-in-law, uh, Michelle's sister. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Kelsey. Nah, Greg. I think he's done. His wife gave him till uh, till a certain time, and uh, I think they were done. So okay, as far as right. I know. I mean, I haven't okay. talked to him recently, so I do ask him every time I see him. I was like, because I don't know, me kids after forty, I think he's nuts, but more power to him. Okay. So. Well, I, I, would, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> really? Well, Chap has been asking for a little brother. He buys her. They know, do that, so. man. Huh? They do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they do, do that. You know. So. 
So but, but it's, uh, it's, it's the shot, boy. Go ahead. Hi, hey, I, I agree. I agree. I'm just saying it was already rough for me in my in my mid twenties. So I'm like thinking like I, nowadays I don't know if I could be running after toddlers. <laughs> like, it hurt me then, but you know, do what you got to do. Um, other than that, um, what else do we do? Um, not much, just work, and then uh, you know running around with the kids, and then everything. Uh, my son and my uh, middle daughter. They got their play this week, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and uh, that's they're doing um, Susicle, and then Ava's play I think is in a couple of months. I've never heard of Susicle. Yeah, it's a so it's a, a combination of a lot of Doctor Seuss books. Oh, you know and, what you uh, were telling me about that? You were telling me about that. Yeah, okay. so I never heard of it till now either. But it's a it's, it's supposedly it's a a big play. Uh, Horton hears a who is the main character, and then all the other characters. Um, I'll be honest, that's got to be dope. I love the Lorax. Yeah, uh, I think he's a part of it. Um, so my middle child, she's been doing the scenery and she actually got, um, she got to be the stage manager. So she's running the stage and uh, helping with the scenery and all that. And then my son is going to be uh, Wickersham. He's like a monkey and he's the main, like the main monkey because there's like six of them. So he gets to like jump up on stage. He's got like 12 lines. It's the most lines he's ever had. So we'll see how it goes. I knew that's so, okay. Uh, yeah, so it should be fun. I'm excited. You know, we're going to, the whole family is going to come out each day. And uh, uh, my boy, uh, Sean, and I call him Chewy. Him and his wife are going to come. So, you know, it'll be a good time. Okay, cool. And then I've been running around with him for the last two months. Uh, and, you know, and here's the payoff. <laughs> and then you know, other than that, man, just enjoying uh, another Michigan win against these dumb Ohio State fans <laughs> and these whiny Ryan Day lovers. So yeah, he's probably he's probably about to be out, which I think is crazy. Yeah, I want him to stay. I'm mad. Michigan no, State. I'm, I'm mad. Michigan yeah. State hired a, a new coach. They should have kept. I know, the guy. me too. Right, <laughs> but I don't understand. Like, I get. I get that idea, like you got to beat, you know, your rivals, mm-hmm. and you lose to them three times in a row. But he, they've, he's been, like, you know, twelve and one the last whatever, three or eleven and one or whatever for three years. So, I mean, that's a winning record. You're gonna that get a one matters though. That one matters. I guess Literally, what matters. They said that it's true. So yeah. that's crazy. Other than that, that's it. I'm good. All right, Angel. What have you guys been up to? I'm gonna go have you night. and Jay Bear. Okay, yeah, Jay Bear. Yeah, that's right. Y'all know that. <laughs> um, so, I mean, first half of my week, sick as a dog, bro. I couldn't even. I was on her complaining, just saying, like, I hate this. At one point, I was like, yo, just end it. Like, I'm good. I'm, I think I've done enough. I'm fine. Like, we don't need to do no more. Um, my goal was just to get to Thanksgiving, well, just to get to Wednesday, because that's when she was gonna come down. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. I kind of just did my I, – I was like, I'm sick. It's Thanksgiving week. we watching movies in class all day. That's all we doing. So I was just sitting there at work chilling. Um, then after that, Thanksgiving came around. Uh, picked her up from the airport. Had a good Thanksgiving meal with my family. You know, everybody was all good. Uh, we got to make cookies. She makes the best, the best chocolate chip cookies you'll ever have. So we got to make that and my nephew was getting me upset, man. He just kept he kept trying to take my girl, bro. I'm getting tired of this boy. Over there. Right. Hold, on, hold on, I got a question for Joe. Joe, have you met Angel's lady before? So um, I saw her compete at your uncle's tournament, but I did not get a chance to meet her because literally I walked in, I, I you know did the meet and greet with everybody. I did meet Jeff. You got Jeff. pulled into a ring. And then, no, I didn't get pulled into a ring. Your brother pulled me to work. Your Chad. brother pulled me to work. Chad. Oh, yeah. Chad. I was, That's he right. had the camera in my hand until I left. Literally Chad. had a camera. Travis. Because right. Jeff was going to introduce us. So we Yo, could talk Travis. to about Angel. Travis said. He was going to oh, introduce Joe? us. He said, oh, that's Joe? Yeah, he's working now. Here's the camera. Go go film that <laughs> no, ring over there. Literally, literally, he watched me talk to, I think I talked to, like, I talked to Mr. Allison. I talked to your uncle. Uh, I, I talked to Avery and Morgan for a minute. And then uh, I literally, I was like, oh, there's Jeff. Um, Talk to Jeff. For, and then Jeff was like, okay. I said, okay, what? He's like, here's a camera. 
Yeah, that's <laughs> go over I, here. The same thing happened to me, except for I got put into a ring. <laughs> the exact it. same thing. I walked in, spoke to a couple of people, saw my uncle. Next thing I know, I'm in a ring. <laughs> well, you knew at uh, your uncle's tournament that was going to happen. Well, well, you know, uh, this was the uh, WKC part. So it wasn't the oh, second. Okay. The second, oh, okay. the second when I, I have too many kids and too many rings, and I'm always running around. So yeah, okay. I, so I did. I did judge that day. So this okay. was I, yeah. The first day was the the national one that um, I was taping, and then the next day I, I was judging a uh, uh, ring three, I think, all day. Okay. Well, I've never met her, and Angel did not give us a, a formal introduction. I, That's kind of rude of you. You gave it to the audience. You gave it to the audience. Normally, what you would say is, this is Joe, this is, and we would say, nice to meet you, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Man, she done, she done heard me talk about y'all so much. I mean, <laughs> she don't know about y'all. I mean, you know, we all know that famous saying, but egg roll and duck sauce. That we, we you know that that came from. You know where that came from. Ain't no one nothing else, right? You really got him with that one, Gene. I see. You really got him with that one because this is the third time he brought it up in the last month. Nah, you know what I said to her? We went to the mall on Friday, and I said, "Yo, this shirt look nice. I, I got a big, small shirt." I said, "Boy, I'm gonna be cleaner than a chitlin." And she just looked at me. I said, "That's Gene right now." <laughs> You know that. you know that, that. That's actually an old saying. That's an actual old yeah. saying. <laughs> I told I was like, I don't know why, but man, you just be getting me with these. Like, I can't stop laughing. So we did that. I'll let her talk about the rest of our days. Yeah, so like you said, I came in on Wednesday. And just so you know, I get forced to make these cookies every time I'm here. So I have no uh, choice in it at all. Well, I don't like if she want a place to stay, she better make them damn cookies. This is oh, so this even is on non holidays, like a random Friday. You well, just come I don't here. care if she comes for a weekend. I already, I, I'm calling her Thursday night. Hey, I'm gonna go do groceries. What do you need again? You need cornstarch. You need what else? Yeah, yeah, okay, I got you. Don't worry about it. She's not but, a keeper elf. You just can't put her to work. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are we doing? It like it's so bad that the first time he had me make them, I ended up making 72 cookies. Nah, in one day. Wow. My wow. mom this is, what it is man. My mom, yeah, y'all made me see like I got <laughs> I got like 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 underwage. <laughs> I got like a like a workshop over here. What it is that my mom <laughs> sounds like all, I told my mom about the cookies, and my mom was like, wow, these are so good. I told my pops, told my family. So I made all of them at least have one of her cookies, just one. Everybody just loved them. So I told her, I said, we're not going to You know what's going to happen? I you know her, what's going to happen? I know what's about to happen, Joe. This is what's about what's to happen. Up? Angel is about to be slanging fist kicks and flicks cookies at tournaments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what I about. I have to talk about that at my job. There's a, a a contract. There's a law in my contract. You could teach one class outside of your profession. So I told her, I said, "Girl, well, how good you make these cookies? I'm about to teach baking class. Start taking orders every week. And part of these kids' grades is they're gonna be my workers. So I got low overhead, free workers, and I'm making all the money." You skirting the like, line, Trump. You skirting the line, Trump. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Crazy. But nah, man, my 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 uh, my family loves the cookies. She we made seventy two because she wasn't gonna be here for a couple months. So I was like, I need something to just keep so we could just make them little by little. And now we can just you imagine, can you imagine what what his, his coaches would be saying if they were listening to this? <laughs> <laughs> it's wild because I was just thinking too. I was like, damn, I got I got to weigh in next week. I got I got to hurry up and burn this all fast. But, <laughs> Nah, so we did that, and go ahead, do your thing. And then we, uh, you know, we had Christmas, or not Christmas, goodness, Thanksgiving dinner and all of that, and we did some Black Friday shopping, you know, helped me get ready for school and all of that. Um, got a new computer and AirPods, which is very nice, very needed. Um, and then Saturday, we, um, he took me to New York City for the first time. It was my first time ever going. Um, we met a like it? Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. <laughs> It's different. It's different. It's different. Um, yeah, for sure. I'm a down south girl, but it was cool to see for the first time. Okay. Um, yeah. I've never been to New York. Not yet. Me neither. No, me neither. It's it's like it's. I mean, I was the whole time we're there. I was just telling her. I was like, it's not what the movie makes it out to be. Like what you see in the movie is true. It's what it is. It's a bunch of lights, big tall buildings, and just people everywhere, right? But I told her I was like, but they ain't no damn like 
exhibit. Like it literally is the New York experience is walking blocks, walking miles, seeing it, and then going, all right, that's it, and let's just go. And you just walk somewhere else, and you do something else. Like that's what it is. Like so, I told I told her I was like, I mean, I was to the point I was asking her, like, did you even have fun? Like. <laughs> I mean, like, not saying like, I did not saying it wasn't fun, but I'm like compared to what we usually do, it's just not our typical norm type thing. So I mean, it, that's really what it was. But it, I mean, we had a good time. I wanted to ask y'all, son. I, I had to talk with her, right? And it, it's been bothering me. It's really been bothering me. All right. I thought that have you noticed the way Black Friday shopping has changed from when you were a kid to when Champ was a kid to now? I never uh, go. Yeah. Like, I- all right, so I'm gonna be honest. I never really went, right? But I remember when I was younger, my mom used to always be like, "Come on, we gotta go Black Friday shopping." I remember looking at like these like stores, and it was just you couldn't even get in. I mean, to the point that it was unsafe to go Black Friday shopping. Like you were afraid you were gonna get. Yeah, I remember that. I remember seeing that on the news and stuff. Yeah, people were yeah, dying. Like, they were getting, like ran over and stomped yeah. on and trampled. Like mm-hmm. it was causing death. People mm-hmm. were fighting over TVs, like real stuff. Mm-hmm. Yo, like we went. Black Friday shopping, and I was like, all right, it's, you know, it's like we're going to leave right at like 10, 8 o'clock, whatever, we'll get there. So as soon as it opens, we just get it done and over with. I got there, and I'm over here walking through the mall, and I'm like, is this place even running anymore? Yeah, like, I, 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 I can kind of help you out with that. You know, back yeah. in the day, back in the day, there used to be the hot item of the year. You know, like, you know, the Cabbage Patch Dial or the Tickle Me Elmo and stuff like that, that people would rush in and try and get. You know, we don't, we haven't had that in a while, right? Uh, yeah. t- TVs haven't changed that much recently, so everybody you yeah, buy it. everybody has a flat screen now. Yeah, you know. And then lastly, before there really wasn't an internet, and now people do a lot more shopping that's online. What we, that's what she said. She was like, "Babe, like you can get everything online now." And I told her, I was like, "To be honest with you, I was like, I actually like that. I like that it's like that because I I don't really want to leave my house. I just want to buy it online and just have it delivered to me." That's yeah, they I even had they even showed now like you can or do early Black Friday and then yeah. go online. So that I mean, a lot of people probably just crazy. And I told her, I said, I think the only thing I remember as a kid, like high school, middle school. Was Jordans like we were like standing in crazy lines to get Jordans? The kids were trying to get Jordans. I was like, now like people don't even they don't give a damn about what's in the store. They're gonna go to the reseller and all that, and they're just gonna go get it there. They don't care. They'll pay the extra money. It's easy. It just it's convenient. Yeah. So that yeah. was like yeah. one thing I noticed about so far, like just this little holiday season. I just I think I've just become so desensitized to what shopping is now that it just I stopped and I was like, man, this is not what it used to be. Like, not saying shopping used to be fun. But it was like an experience in itself. Now there really is no experience. It's like you can just get at the click of your hand. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, but you know what? I've never really been Black Friday shopping at all. It was a few times where I've had to represent different brands, you know, for work, and I would be yeah. out. But other than that, I've never. I've only gone out one time, and I took my best friend uh, shopping, and I stayed in the car with her daughter. Her daughter was a baby, so I stayed in the car while she went into the stores and shop. So I've never seen, actually seen all of the craziness and everything. I just hear about it and see it on the news, the TV show. I never have. The one time I went was when my mom bought me a PS4 um, for Christmas. But, my, I, I mean, this is not bad if parents do this. I, I I think they should. I used to just hate it. My mom would get me the PS4. would take me with her and everything to so make sure she got the right one on Black Friday. <laughs> on Black Friday. And then wrap the motherfucker and then say you can't touch it till Christmas Day. And I used to <laughs> that was know? how old were you when you did that? I I was like 15, 14. Oh, <laughs> that would have killed me. Like, like, that would have worked. That would have worked. I would have been bugging her every day for that. I was like, I thought you said you had a PS4. Uh, that would have been torture. I wouldn't I wouldn't have wanted to. I, I wouldn't used to, want yeah. it. I, I used to, my friends were like, I thought you said you had a PS4. I was like, I do, I just can't play it yet. You gotta give me <laughs> like I just need a month. That's killer. Yeah. That's killer. Yeah. So, but that was it, man. How about you, Joe or uh, Gene? How was your um? How was your Everything's week? been cool, man. I just been, you know, I'm finally done with uh this blitz. The holiday season is over with. All of my stores, um, have been updated. <clears throat> you know, so I'm done here in Michigan. I could just just sit back and just chill with work. Uh, last Sunday, uh, we had the uh MSKC, um, Michigan banquet. Sports Party oh, yeah, the banquet. 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 Yeah, so it was nice. You, huh? I, I, I just didn't post it. I just didn't post it. Yeah, I got some pictures because uh, a few of my students were there. Three or four students that got got awards. <laughs> yeah. So um, Connor, of course, Connor got first in forms and got second 
and fighting. I, I still feel bad about that as far as him getting second and fighting, <clears throat> only because he missed one of the tournaments. Yeah. So he was behind on points. But the guy who got first, he beat at the last four tournaments. You know, uh, you know how that goes. You know how that goes. <laughs> yeah. So, and you know, so Connor kind of knows that you know he's better than a kid. You know, so I kind of felt bad about that. Um, then I had a, a couple other students. One student, this was her first time, and this is actually my first time doing the circuit the whole year. So I didn't know all the rules and know everything, you know. So I had one student who only competed in three tournaments, and even though she ended up second in the state, you have to compete at four in order to get a plaque and everything, oh. you know. So she wasn't able to get uh, a plaque. And then um, another student, uh, he he had his name was twice on the website, and they weren't together. So he ended up getting. Um, he he didn't get he didn't get an award for that because it made it look like he was like in the fifth or sixth place instead of oh, okay. and actually three if they would have added his other points he would have been in uh, third place and I, and I, I kind of put it together because uh, the last tournament of the year they didn't use mat action they used the oh, regular yeah. you know paper registration forms you know and um, his mom made a mistake because he had a birthday in between. The, the the last two tournaments or the last three tournaments he had a, a birthday in between so she signed him up based upon his age even though he should have stayed in the same division that he'd been competing in all year you know if yeah. they had mad action it automatically would have kept you in that division for the mm -hmm. whole year you know so his points didn't tally up correctly also so what i'm going to do is um <clears throat> i'm going to get them um some plaques you know out of my That's pocket good. And, That's a good idea, man. and hook them up, take care of them, because they they did what they're supposed to do, you know, in the ring, you know, it was just some techni technicalities that kind of messed them up, you know. But yeah. they were still there, and I kind of felt bad for them being there, so, you know, because they 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 had families there, they paid money for for coming to the banquet and everything, you know. So, yeah, I felt a little hey, bad about that. They don't they don't tell y'all if you're gonna get something before. They should, shouldn't they? They should do that at the point well, of registration. Like like i'm I, i'm not like you know just because of what you said like just the families are there so i mean that's a you know it, it, could, it's a, it could be heartbreaking and embarrassing in yeah. all one way you know what i'm trying to say like i just yeah, feel, and that's how i kind of feel yeah, <laughs> also you know I so you. i got you <clears throat> if you i was know. i'd do it, I'd make a damn better plaque than what these kids are gonna get anyways and they look at that now now brag at them but honestly man it kind of made all of them more hungry so they like went to the right, they so, get the experience and you know they're gonna want it more next year. Yeah, that's the good thing, man. So that's good. Yeah, so they they're pretty hungry now. All of the kids uh, last week they were just talking about competing. They're ready to compete. They're ready for January. Ready to go. You know, so they all know what they need to do. You know, and I'm gonna have some new purple belts there this year. So I'm gonna have a big team. You know, there. So I told my my third degree red belts. I was like, look, I'm thinking we're probably gonna have over ten competitors at every tournament. And if that's the case, I, it's going to be hard for me to be at every single ring. So sometimes if you see somebody's competing in one ring and I, if I'm across the gym, you guys are going to have to step in and help coach them, you know, yeah. the best, you know, the best of your ability, you know, yeah. if I can get over there, you know. Um, and then we had the holiday, you know, we had at my uncle's house, Uncle Rick, Rick and Deborah, we had it over there. And um, even though it wasn't as many of us, because my aunt and her family, they did their own thing this year, so they didn't come over. And uh, my aunt has six kids, and they all have kids and significant others, you know. So it's it's a lot of them. So they did their own thing, and we did our thing, and it was still cool, still nice. Uh, Melissa got sick Thanksgiving night or Thanksgiving day, so she couldn't go. Her uh, vertigo started acting up, mm. so she was uh, spinning. So I just went went over there for a little bit, packed up some food, brought it back, you know, for her, and mm. uh, you know she felt better you know, over the weekend. So that's pretty much it for me. Other than that, I've just been uh, working on the uh, the comic, trying to get used to this new software, get familiar with that, and I'm ready to put that back, start putting that back out. But it's going to be more than just my, my normal comic. I'm going to probably have a rotation of four or five comics. And, um, you know, Tra Travis talking to me about this a few months ago, and I told him that sometimes, like, I, I don't have a, a joke for the comic, but the joke... I do have a joke for something else, but it doesn't fit in the Jump Kick comic. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have other comics that I put out, and hopefully that stuff will fit properly when I have an idea. But it's yeah. not easy. 
you know. And um, I told Trav before, I was like, look, most of the people that are reading Jump Kick are adults and they like it, but it's kind of PG. And, you know, because I have kind of blue humor, you know, I can push the envelope. And every time I push that envelope, I get a text. What? From, what? I get a text from Travis like, hey, you, you, you real close to the edge on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, but I didn't go over, so I'm all right. You know, Travis tells you that? Yeah, he'll tell me. He'll tell me that. He'll he'll send me a text like, yo, you kind of close to this one. You know, because, and I, you know, imagine, I don't know, man. Imagine if I, I try and have a hard, I have a hard time sometimes being a martial arts instructor. You know what I'm saying? But having another type of sense of humor. You're going to kind of get looked at differently. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to be a positive role model for kids. But at the same time, just based upon this podcast, so you can only, some of the stuff I say, you can only imagine some of the stuff I'm thinking in my head. You know? <laughs> so, no, I don't think we can. Or, like, imagine, so. Can you imagine if Mr. Rogers was the one that was writing Friday the 13th? You'll be, you're going to be like, what the fuck? Like, I just, something's not adding up with this guy, you know? Yeah. I'm trying to find a balance that'll be appropriate for everyone. <laughs> you know? Hey, now that I'm thinking about this, right? So since you do comics, I know we're way off topic, but this is my last thing. Um, you ever thought about being a comedian? No, I've been asked that a couple times, but I don't, I don't want that stress. I don't need that stress. I mean, I it is to, I will have, it's, I will have to be up there it's, smoking. It's, I will be smoking <laughs> to stay calm and cool. I, I couldn't just, I couldn't uh, just. I mean, Dave Chappelle, do it? Huh? Shit. Dave Chappelle do it? Nah, he be smoking cigarettes. I want to be smoking something else. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do that. <laughs> I had to give me a vape or something. <laughs> God. This guy, man. This guy. Yeah, that's uh, right. I, 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 I don't know, man. I don't think that'll work for me. But <laughs> let's get into the movie, man. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I have not watched this movie since the last time I watched it. I only watched it one time. And Angel, when you first talked about this movie, introduced the movie, you said we were going to watch it like a TV show. I, I Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. I mean, we just finished it right before we got on. Okay. There's a bunch of stuff I can tell you we were just talking about. But I promise you when I tell you this, I had to go online to make sure I was right. It's because the company got bought out and they just made a movie. They took – all those were episodes. They just put them into a movie. Like – you ever it, notice how randomly it'll go black and then yes, just something yes, pops up? Yes, that's because yes. that's when the episode ended and then the next episode started. I kind of figured that, but at the same that's time, they should, they should have edited the movie a little bit better because they absolutely because yeah, sometimes yeah. sometimes stuff was just seemed random and it didn't kind of make sense as far as the movie I'm overall. With you, I'm with you. I'm I'm a hundred percent with you. They could have edited it and they probably could have added in little fillers. I'm a hundred percent with you. Yeah, a hundred percent. So I, I promise you. I promise you, I tried finding the episode series, like just the one and two. Oh, it's okay. I mean, I, I, I just, I, I, when I, when I thought about it, I thought about it um, the other day. Well, I, I, said, you know I what? watched it when it was in the episodes. You and I both did, Joe. Yeah, so, like, yeah. I just, first came out. I just know yeah. that I couldn't rewatch it again because I was like, I, I don't want to sit through another two and a half hours of this Listen, watching it again. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Like, I, I got a lot to say about this. I'm gonna be honest. I got a lot to say. So that's, that's exactly why I want you on the show. Yeah, just go ahead. I got a lot to say, and it's not all good things. I got a lot to say about this. So go I'm ahead. kind of surprised about that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, so we're talking about Street Fighter, Assassin's Fist. Yeah. The 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 first thing you got to say though is the this is a low budget, like this was just a private company that made this, and but it, they did a great job. The shit out of the original Street Fighter that was a uh, high budget was John Paul Van Damme. This is better than John Claude Van Damme's one. This is better than that's the. That's what I'm saying. That's that's the bad. That's like even, sad. Doesn't even doesn't even compare to this. Like mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I think these are the same people that made the Mortal Kombat online series, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm. So I'm not. I'm gonna be honest, man. Like you say, low budget. It was pretty good to me. I'm not gonna front, man. It was no, when good. I say low budget, this is so this is privately funded, but yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Don't, they don't have, you know, yeah. they don't have big uh, John Claude Van Damme money. Yeah, well, but these are not, you don't recognize any of these actors. You oh, Jaden. Um, Jaden, also, 
Hold Ray, on, Jaden, you could just jump in here anytime because we don't take turns. We just rolling all over <laughs> like I just did. <laughs> so whenever you got something to say, just jump on in. Um, okay. <laughs> Ryu, Ryu, was he the dude from Tekken or no? Who? Cool. He was oh, the um, Ryu was I, I don't think like so. Player. He looks familiar, know. right, baby? Yeah, yeah, he looks familiar. I've been saying this whole time. I honestly could not remember where he was from, but he's bit. He looks I'll, familiar. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. I, I have he's it the up. only one that I saw that I that might like have recognized. Yeah, he was now, the only one. Only... No, no, the other, we did see someone else in Street Fighter that we saw in another movie with us, and he he has the same role. You know the um the sensei that was uh, instructing. Oh yeah, uh, Goken, 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 and Goki. The that yeah. instructor was in the movie Ninja that yeah. we did with Scott Atkins. He always plays the same type of role, like the sensei instructor for samurais and ninjas. Like he's always that's like his like I hate saying it, but he's like casted, like he's like typecasted for that. It sucks to say it, but um so but yeah, I, I mean yeah, I see ahead. that he's in uh he played B Bruce Lee in uh Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's what and, we thought it was. Yeah, and he was in Blade of the 47 Ronin. Okay, so oh, he, we have seen him in a couple of things. There we go. I knew it. Yeah. Other than that, he's been in uh, TV shows. Empire, so, Empire, True Blood, and oh, Humans. Really? Okay. He's was in Humans was decent. I don't two remember broke, seeing him. Two Broke that. Girls. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Right. I, knew, I knew he was famous. Um, the, the reason that, I mean, they did okay putting this together from the episodes, but the reason this works as episodes is because like the first whole first season focuses just on Ken and Ryu. Yes. You know, they, they give you their backstory. They give you, um, you know, childhood stuff. They give you their training, their instructors and some of the, you know, the things they've had to go through and, and everything like that. So that's why it works. Where for the movie just tried to cram 12 different characters into one movie. It um, just doesn't work. Yeah, I agree. Um, and they could actually do this for all of the fight, the fight, uh, the fight game uh, movies. Yes, they could, they could do this, I agree. and they could have like they could have like their own, you know, story Marvel arc. universe. They, 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 they could do that. Arc. Each each yeah. season is a different fighter in his, in their story arc. You could do well, that. Mortal Kombat, the same Mortal Kombat done by the same group that this one did. That's mm -hmm. how they do theirs. Only yeah. instead of breaking it down per season. They kind of uh, like four episodes will focus on, you know, Scorpion and Sub Zero, and then the next four might be like Jax and Johnny Cage. So, um, to me, it's it's easier to do that than to watch a whole movie where they try to shove every character in your face. You know, you see that. That's when, um, like, the first two Mortal Kombat's, the first one did okay, and the second one just added twenty five characters, and it didn't work. X Men. The X Men movies kind of, to me, did the same thing. Like, I want to see all the X Men characters, but when you have a two and a half hour movie, you can't throw thirty five characters at us. It's just not going right. to work. Yeah. Um. Now, you guys said that this was all jammed together. So, was this actually uh seasons one and two, or was this yeah. just season one? Season one and two. Oh, one and yeah. two. Okay. Yeah. So, so, season one was like how Joe said it was just about Ken and Ryu. Season two then oh, okay. explored more of the instructor's background, the sensei's ah, background. Right? Okay. And then this is the other thing. All of those episodes, they weren't longer than 15 minutes. They were 13-minute episodes. Mm, okay. So that's that was like the tough part. When I watched this, like originally when it came out, when it first came out with my brother, um, we it was literally like only like 15 minutes, and it was every week you got an episode, and it only okay. did, I think, like four five six episodes and that was it and then you had to wait like almost like a year till the next season came out i thought there was 10 all together i don't remember 10 per season i thought so right it's yeah, been I mean, so long because i watched them when they first came out i, I don't remember even the episode so it probably was 10 i don't yeah, see what and i might be thinking of um i might be thinking of mortal kombat even because mortal kombat has two seasons well that's messed up then because wow. Because it ended on a cliffhanger. So, so hold on. There's <laughs> another part. There's a second part. Yeah, I, I'll let her explain. That's what I was asking because you guys said that this was one and two. So yeah, I, I'll let her. I'll let her explain it to you. So we get we're getting close to the end, and all okay. I said was I okay. told her I was like, um, I was like, you're gonna get mad at me, and she just did. She just looks at me, and I was like, you're, you're gonna get mad, and then it ended, and I'll tell you, she just looks at me, and I was like, 
<laughs> like, I don't, what do you want me to say? Like, I told her, I said, when it happened, I got stuck. Like, yo, I watched the TV. And I was just like, like, in my mind, I was like, mother, what is wrong with these dudes? And then I was like, I don't even remember it ending this way. Did it end this way? Like, <laughs> what happened? It was crazy. Okay. I was so mad. Like, why would you do that to me? Make me sit here for two and a half hours <laughs> and I don't even get the ending. Like, just... She got it. And she was invested. Mad, in You're going to get invested it in mad, it. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. So so the idea is um, uh, you got Kenny Ryu. They're training with um, a friend of Ken's dad. And is uh, I think he's, he's Goken. Goki. Goken Sensei. Yeah, Goken. Goken. Or, yeah, his so he was a made-up character, right? Or is he some f- from the games? Because oh, he's still from the game. He is he's okay. Now he comes in like three or everybody, four. The game, yeah. Everybody in this is from the game. Okay. Oh, yeah. Is it the same relate? So is this is this the same story from the game? Like he trained them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like they pretty much this this one followed it, like directly what their storylines were. It followed it directly. See, with these video what game movies, like when I was playing video games, I never followed the story. I didn't I didn't give a damn. I just wanted to be some ass. That's that's it. Right. Just give me a guy and let me fight. I'm right so, there with you. I, I I'm never right I never do anything about storylines in these games and in any of them. And I'm talking about ass, Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Tekken. Like I don't know the story. So this is all new to me. Okay, cool. Yeah. I would you know, I would play the games and I would, you know, get to the end and beat them. And then like if if I you know, felt like getting into it more. I would go and try to get into some of the stories. Um, Tekken started doing where you could skip all the stories and then they would save them for you. You could go back and watch them later if you wanted to. Mm, okay. Um, the one, so in the first season, when it was about Ken and Ryu, what we got to see a lot of, which I really liked. I mean, I'm going to be honest, man. Like, like I said, there's a lot of good stuff I liked about it was I liked the fact that you got to see who they were and how they got brought up. Because as a kid playing Street Fighter, I used to always – it took me forever to realize that they're bro- brothers and they, like, were trained from the same person, right? So I didn't really know that. Um, I kind of liked the way they described it and the way they showed it in the trainings. And I'm going to be honest, man, the fight scenes were awesome. Their fight scenes reminded me of what – when we had Ron Ponell on. I remember when he was saying, mm-hmm. like – like the best thing to do is just keep it simple. What would you actually do in a fight, and what do you actually train? Just do that, and that right there is sometimes better than doing all the wires and the and the bigger stuff. Mm-hmm. Yo, man, like some of the stuff I told her, there was in like the first scene, they're running, and he does a jump, flying sidekick, and still keeps running. I was like, who the hell? Like, and I told her, I was like, the crazy thing was they didn't have a big budget, so I know they actually found someone that did that. That he actually did the move. Did the jump flying sidekick and just kept running like that? That to me was wild. I was like, he did that in stride. Like it's the fight scenes were really on point, man, really on point. And I kind of also like the way they tied in um, the traditional karate with like the the katas and the forms, mm-hmm. like you know, and how they showed the application of it. I actually kind of like that, man. That was actually really like clever, really clever to my for my knowledge. I was a little disappointed when we got to a point where we could see the first fight scene, but we really didn't see it. And that was when they were in a when they went to the bar. They went to a, a, a club or you bar. Know what or I, mad at? I said this to her. I said, I said, yo, this oh, yeah. is a video game. This is literally like one of the one of the backgrounds in the video game. I would have mm. liked to see them do the actual fight. Yeah, yeah that was so- stupid. So that's 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 that was one of the, the points where yeah. it was like as a TV show, I guess it might have made sense, but as an overall part of a movie, like this part didn't make any sense. If, if they're not going to fight or show us the fight, it doesn't make it, sense. It would have been a perfect opportunity to me for them to bring in like some low level character like Balrog or or um, um yeah, Vega. I get it. Mm-hmm. just yeah. someone they could have showed us and then showed us their story later. When I yeah. saw it for the first time, when I saw it um last week, right. I thought they were gonna fight Gil or Guile. I thought he was gonna fight Guile. I swear to God, I thought he was. Something and I was like, oh, been, yeah, yeah, I thought been. so too. Because what, then, it, what, what those military people that were in that bar that they yeah, had all the yeah. with? Yeah, yeah, I thought I thought so too. I thought they fight Guile and the and like how you said or Balrog, like like let him fight the boxer. That I'm just saying, cool. like it would have been a good, it would have been the perfect opportunity to bring another character to show us as like a foreshadowing. And what mm-hmm. sucked also is, um. They even gave you the exact way the way the game was when he says fight and he does like they did everything the exact way the backdrop was the same like 
everything was perfect and you didn't you got the, <laughs> the lead up with no substance and i was like come on bro like this is like foreplay don't get me don't get me hot and ready <laughs> that'll, that'll make right. my like it, it got me mad but um that part i thought was interesting in terms of <clears throat> in terms of sticking really with just like the ken and ryu part right one thing i did thought one thing i did think was pretty cool was how when ryu was there and he was training you got to see I don't know about you guys, but I kept wondering, is he Akuma's son? I kept saying that. I was like, man, I just feel I like said that too, because the based on the story, he uh the old man who kind of messes with Ken all the time, you know, he's got the hat and everything, found him just yeah. found him in the forest. Yeah. So and as yeah. as we learn from this story, because the story goes back not only with Ken and Ryu, but the story takes us back to um, Goken Sensei's uh, Beginnings. childhood. Yeah. With his brother, and his brother ultimately becoming Akuma. So um, this was actually part of season two, right? That part? Is hit, that where the start of season two? Was season two. Okay. Um, one thing I thought was funny, I mean, I, I don't know if y'all gonna... So I got... the re- One of the reasons why I said I didn't like it was because... Um, I swear to you, I swear. I thought you were gonna say this, Gene. You probably are going to. Joe, correct me if I'm wrong. There were subtitles when they were speaking Japanese in the online series. Yeah. No, yeah. I wouldn't know because I couldn't understand what the hell they were saying anyway. So I had so subtitles I going. This, so I said this to her. So I told her, I said, I'm gonna warn you. I was like, I swear. I was like, we're getting like the closest thing to an anime without watching the anime because they're just speaking <laughs> Japanese and I don't know what they're saying. So I, this is what I told. Her. I said, so if, I you just, put, if you put on the subtitles, they showed up. Yeah, I watched. I watched the whole movie with subtitles. <laughs> I watched the whole movie through subtitles because as so you didn't talking, read any of the Japanese speaking. <laughs> hey, no, <Joe, laughs> you got to turn on the subtitles. We spent the whole movie with him making up his own lines. <laughs> oh my lord! Dude, I this, God. Right, I'll, Twenty I'll, minutes in the movie has has a speaking Japanese. I'm gonna tell you what I did. Want some rice? Yo, I'm gonna tell you what I did. We were there, and they were like doing their whole thing. I'm not gonna do the action, but they were doing the whole thing. And I look at her, and I was like, "So what he just said right there was, yeah, bitch, get over here. Don't you better keep your hands up and stop blocking with your face." And then they did something. I was like, "Now the old man's yelling at him saying." Yeah, Gaijin, I don't know what you're doing over there. You're not part of these towns. And he's over there telling him he's an asshole. And then this is what I tell him every time. I was like, but in my version, I don't know about anyone else's, but my version, that's what they're saying. That's what they yes. <laughs> Yeah, so when they were so so when they're talking, um, I think Goken was talking and he was talking kind of low, like soft spoken. Yeah, the way they were talking when they when they would go back. So I was like, damn it, I gotta just turn on the subtitles. So I had to start it over <laughs> and I just so, on, so I, you're telling you there was I, in English. Yeah, so I went to YouTube and just turned on subtitles, turned on the subtitles on from YouTube. Yo, literally, I was getting so mad. Every time they're like, saying, yeah. I was getting no, mad. It's everything they're saying, but it adds the, it subtitles the, in English yeah. for the Japanese. Yeah. So I was getting <laughs> mad because I kept telling, I was like, I know this is important, but I just don't know what you're saying. I, oh, I my God. I swear to Man, God, I was a lot. You, you missed a whole lot. lot. <laughs> yeah, we watched a whole different movie now, but we ain't <laughs> level. Anyway, no, because I- not only so when they went back to talk about uh Goken Sensei and Goki, the they were being trained by I can't these names kill me. Go Gozen Sensei. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Gozen. 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 Yeah. The, the, all three names basically sound so yep. similar, it kills me every time. But mm-hmm. anyhow, Gozen Sensei. Is this old man with like these beads around his neck? And what's the style that they're teaching? I forget. It's like uh, uh, Atsu Senpo or something like that. Atsu no Hado. I know, but he he actually had a whole full style of what they called it. But I, thought I have no idea. I thought it was called Hado. Yeah, I thought... they're, they're training Hado. That's what I thought it was. I'm gonna be honest but... with you. Be honest with you, man. The beads were killing me. Around his neck. The well, they had to add him somehow because that Akuma ends up with him. I know he eventually. does, but Akuma's lights up. His he has the characters on him that light up. I think it has something to do with the Hado. Okay, because I never. I, but so then, this is my other thing. Then so then, how come Goki had a better sense of Hado than his instructor? At the end, they he lit up blue. Akuma lit up red. When his instructor fought Akuma, I told her, I said, oh, I would have been like, fuck that, man. He 
he's gonna he's gonna kick my ass. You don't see that? He he lit up he lit up red. I don't okay, even this is this is part of the plot you missed. So what was explained by uh Goken <laughs> Sensei was that there's two ways to to use mm-hmm. auto. There's the fast way, which is the dark auto, which Ken found scrolls about that were left by Goki. Yeah. Don't you remember when he got you know the instructor yeah. got mad at him about that? Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and he was wrong language at that time. I said, "Why the hell are you doing that? I didn't teach you that yeah. shit. Only do what exactly. I said." Well, he basically did say that, like, "Don't yeah, do that." Because I told you, I knew you up. more. He, he didn't say it like that, but he basically <laughs> said, "Like, I, you if so." This has been a oh, this is an old art that's been passed around, yeah. and what Goki what Goki tells his brother is that there can only be one master of this uh, of this art. And so he decided that when they fought each other, whoever wins is going to be the master. So that's why he wanted to be the best. And he ended up leaving uh, to to pursue Dark Hado because his brother was going to be uh, Light Hado and see, follow oh. Master Master Gosen. So Goken told him that you know dark hado is a bad path it mess it twists your body it twists your mind and everything like that but goki's like no there can only be one i'm the one i'm the baddest i'm gonna do that so he left at the behest of his master and basically the brother assumed that he just went up in the mountains and died but as we know <laughs> it doesn't happen so but then you're saying yeah, in that because I told her I was like I was like that dark hado is killing him like it's turning him dark like it's killing his body which that's no they I, say I, if you if you survive it you you gain the power but nobody's ever survived it that's why they teach the light hado because you can still get the power of the hado but it takes longer and it's harder to master but you can use it without messing yourself up yep. okay I missed all of that part. Yeah. Didn't say yeah, none of that. Did. My version didn't say none of that. But <laughs> it, was, it was my version just added a little bit more slang to it just to make it interesting. That's all. <laughs> well, and then you know, before that, so then we go back to this movie jumps around a lot, but I mean they it does that all come like the flashbacks was killing yeah. me, man. It was too because I'm seeing him, then it was present time, then present time back to him. It was throwing me off. Well, it's also because uh, when you're watching them as the episodes, it's okay because it's basically half the episodes of flashback. So, but yeah. in this, it was a little different. So, we we see the they go to the flashback of the brothers, and then we come back to Ken and Ryu with uh, Goken, and he's uh, Ken or Ryu's picking up the light hado a little bit easier than Ken. So Ken decides to try the dark hado, which he didn't know it was dark hado at the time. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, "Look, I got it, I got it." And then his master felt it and told, "Come out and told him, no." Don't yeah, he was do pissed. That. <laughs> don't mess with it. Like that's the wrong, wrong way to go. And uh, so, so they kept practicing. They were, you know, and they were leading up to. I guess did they say so? Is this training supposed to be what, like five years? Then you lead up to like a, a like a vision quest or whatever, and yeah, that's supposed to be the end of your I, training. I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah, that's, it's, that's, it's, it's something like that. Yeah, it, it, whether it was five, six, seven, something like that. But the ending goal was for you to go on your um. I forgot what the word was in Japanese, but for you to go on your own journey to figure out who you are. That was yeah. the end. Goal. Yeah, and, and you know, I was wondering. I was wondering how Joe was going to describe this movie because that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the movie. There's not a lot of stuff that happens. It's just a lot of talking and walking around and every now and then a fight will break out, but in training. But other than that, it's, it's not a lot to the movie. It's not a well, lot. The other, but well, it was, this is my thing. It's not a lot. And I, and you're right in terms of it's different from all the movies we've watched. I mean, we could barely call this a movie, but we'll say it's a movie. It's different from everything we watched before because it was everything we watched before has been more action packed, whether it's been middle, beginning, or end. It's had a big action scenes and finales and all that. The difference about between this one that I liked was it was a consistent whatever the plot or storyline went was it was consistent. You guys ever realize how every time we talk it just there was always a hole like there's like it would lead you up and it just fall off or it wouldn't yeah. be good and then out of nowhere it just picks up but you're like where was it? This was just consistent like you knew you were gonna get a fight scene per 
per uh, an episode or something. You know what I mean? And you're going to get a flashback and you're going to get the story arc and you're going to get all the different components. I think people, this is what I think it is also. People complain when they have video game movies that they don't stick true to the comics. Even like with mm-hmm. DC and Marvel, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This was really sticking true to like, we're going to do it exactly the way it is, the way it was created. And I think that's what you got here. And per- me personally, I could appreciate that. It's like how you and I talk about all of us before we even get on or even just on our own time, this whole MCU and the DC universe, how like mm-hmm. everything's changing and they're not even sticking to the comics half the time. Mm-hmm. Like now, I think that's what this was. They stuck directly to what the storyline was. What do you think? You got something to say, Joe? Oh, no, I'm good. I'm just listening. I, 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 I think, Andrew, I think you're right. And I think, I think if they didn't put it together into the movie, it made would have made more sense. And I think I you just have I think you just had too there was just too much extra right. extra stuff yeah. that, that was in it. And it kind of messed up the flow of the movie pretty much. Yeah. So yeah, no, but I mean I'm not saying I'm not saying it wasn't enjoyable. So what did you uh what was your favorite fight scene? I don't know mine. Do you remember your favorite fight scene? I know mine. Uh, I think it was when Ken and Rio, but I think it was that when one? Ken got the better of Rio. That one, the last one, yeah, when he did the show to you with the fire, yeah, yeah. yeah, with the fire. Oh, man. That fight scene was crazy, mm-hmm. like, yeah, I like that, crazy. And I told her before, I was like, I, I love this fight scene. Like, like I think out of all the movies I've watched, I love this fight scene. Mm. Okay. I kind of like, and I honestly, I kind of like the way they, um, because I explained it to her, I was like, that was Ken's signature. Like that was mm-hmm. his signature thing to, to do. Like it's and I, I really like the way like they did the Shodiukins in here. Like I told her, I was like, it looks kind of dumb because like who, who the hell is doing all this? It almost looks like they're like jumping in the air and celebrating. <laughs> but I kind of like it because it's what the game does. And it was yeah, like, I mean, you kind of expected it. Yeah, but it was like a cool interpretation of it. Like I liked it. Like I thought it was I actually thought it was super dope, man. Yeah, but if dope. but if Captain America did it, it'd be like this is dumb as hell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it fit with this because like like you said like this happens in the game so it yeah. makes sense but if this now, was another movie and jackie chan did it then i'm not gonna be happy <laughs> <laughs> oh one thing i thought was interesting though um what i i took the liberty of watching the second volume two of whatever they were doing and it's called it's not called assassin's fist it's called something else and it's like a 30 minute mini movie whatever Yo, it had nothing to do with this. And I wanted to pull my hair out. <laughs> Yo, it was based, the second one is based off the Capcom Street Fighter video game, Capcom 3 video game. Oh. It, it picks up right where the story left off in the video game. I got angry because I'm like, how the hell? I have to play the whole fucking video game. Like, that doesn't make any damn sense. <laughs> to me. Like, I, I probably don't know where we're going to pick off at. And then. It left out another cliffhanger. I was like, who's making these damn things, man? Like, who does this? Smart people who are looking for investors that that, that say, hey, you want us to do this the right way? <laughs> you know, give us some money. <laughs> give us some money. We can do this one and we can do a sequel. You know? Man, my, nah, man. It was, uh, it was interesting, but I really liked it, man. For real, for real. I really liked the movie. Um, I think the things I didn't like... Now, one of them was my own stupidity, was there not being no subtitles, but that was my own stupidity, so we're going to take that off. That was like at least like 70% of what I didn't like. So my rest of my 30% really was just the holes, man, like just the black screens. Um, I think just when I saw a movie, I expect movie. I got, I got like if we took all of our fist kicks and flicks videos and just pushed them and mashed them up into one mega movie, that's what we got. And I'm like, that part got me mad. And it sucks because I went and did research on it. They actually sold it as a movie in certain areas. Like, mm. they give a DV, like a DVD to it. So I'm like, you obviously put in production value into this. You could have put in the time to add sequences in there that maybe we wouldn't get if from the, from the, um, from the online series. You know what I mean? So that part got me kind of mad. But besides that, man, I, I really liked it. I enjoyed it. Not as much action as we normally have, but it was pretty spot on. What about you guys? Um, there's, I mean, there's a lot to like and a lot to complain about, but I mean, to me, for such a um, a low budget film, to me, it made a lot more sense and it gave us a lot better movie than, you know, a 
the overproduced Jean Claude Van Damme version. That was There's a few things we we still had to touch on. Um, yeah, I thought I was gonna say, Joe, you want to uh, go ahead and go to the uh, the end part. Well, there's there's a couple things leading up to that. So when um, when they're talking about um, Ghost and Sensei and the two brothers, um, uh, his brother Goki ends up leaving. He's decided he's gonna go down the path of mastering Hado, even if it is Dark Hado. And uh, his brother disagrees with him, but now, he decides that's his path. Go ahead. Did you guys were you guys confused about the girl? Because uh, Sas- Sasha? I made up my own dialogue. So to me, I knew what she was doing. Well, to me, I thought that she was a relative of, of theirs because oh, she's a lover. I, I, yeah, I, I knew that, but at first when I was watching it, because I'm thinking like because she kept saying we're a family. She she was saying stuff like that. And so when she's saying that, I'm thinking like, okay, if these two brothers, what is she the sister or is she a cousin? Or I thought there was some relation. But I saw that. You know, her and uh, Akuma had a thing. Well, Goki, they had a thing together. She uh, asked to leave with him, and he said, no, nah, I got to do this on my own. Yeah. Did you guys know that? Actually, huh? I, know that? I said it in my own words, and I told her that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she was silly. Um, yeah, so I felt like she – I don't think she was the problem, but she kind of – they were already going – they each had to go their own path. And this was this is a whole good and evil kind of thing at this point, and the brother, you know, is going to stay with his his master and listen to his master, and the other one's like, listen, man, there can only be one, and I'm going to be that, and they do. They show him leaving. He goes up into the mountains, and he does his training Yo, in Dark Auto. I t- I told her I said his training was off the chain. If all I need is a bamboo stick and some water pails, it's over because he got jacked. Yeah, they gave him some like rocky kind of training almost. It's kind of cool, Joe. Yeah, I would have thought you liked it. It was a montage. No, it was fine. I was good with it. I didn't have a he problem with it. I thought it was funny. That boy done killed a, a goat or something and put it over his back like it was a backpack. He walked <laughs> over with it like like smooth as silk. I was like, okay, look at him. No, my my only problem with the the training wasn't the problem. For me, the problem was this dude is like just turned it into a monster and he didn't care. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, exactly <laughs> what his sensei and the brother said, and he didn't care. He was, he was almost care. embracing it. He was like, "I'm gonna master this, or I'm gonna die," which to me is just crazy. But I mean, it worked that's, out for him because now he part. comes back as in now. See, in the video game, I always thought his name was Akuma. Yeah, and that's this, Goki sensei, Gokin sensei says he is an Akuma, like basically a demon, which makes more sense because he did it, come back looking like a demon. It, it definitely does, which that I understood. Um, I thought the craziest part, man, was I told her, I said, one, when his eyes lit up, when the when when Gozen Sensei and Akuma fought, I thought that was crazy. The setting was wild, and how his eyes just lit up, and he just walked out of nowhere, like out of like the dust, like the mist in the night. But the craziest part also was um was to me when the way he killed the instructor. His oh, face Lord, at the bad. end, <laughs> that, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> Literally, I was like, God damn, what the heck is that? I was like, Oh, I don't know, man. That was that was a lot. That was a lot. And in the oh, video okay. game, in the video game, is he the strongest character or no? Is it still Ryu? Um, well, that's where we're leading up to because um after he kills the sensei, then we go back to um, we go back to Ryu because he doesn't. His brother tries to take him on, but he says you're not ready yet, which mm-hmm. I think is kind of crazy because you <laughs> think he'd want to kill the only person that might be able to stop him, but he wants that challenge. He wants. He says, "I'll come back when you're ready." So then we go back to Ken and Ryu with, um, you know, their their master Goken, and he's ready to send them away because he senses when. Um, Ken and Ryu are fighting, Ryu brings the Dark Hado out accidentally. Like, it's it's already in him. Mm-hmm. And so that triggers to the sensei, he says that triggers, he knows his brother's coming back because of that. So he wants them gone. So, you know, because they're not ready for that. So he's going to well, fight his brother. Well, he came to him too, right? Yeah, he, he did. Him. He came to him before that. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
but he didn't come there to fight. He just came to say, "Oh, I see you got a couple of a couple of students." But he didn't. No, he didn't know that at first. Remember, because he was like, "Oh, because I think they called him Sensei or Master," and then yeah. he were kind of like, "Oh, so you're the master." So then that's why he wanted to fight him after that. Yeah. So once once that happened with Ryu, and they were kind of talking about it, and so Ryu didn't want to leave. You know, he's like, I need to finish my training because he needed to understand. And that's like what Angel said, where I was like, uh oh, is this, you know, did a Akuma, you know, have a kid and just leave him that's in the forest? My, that's my thing. I've been wondering. I, I kept saying, I was like, I asked her, I was like, I feel like that's his kid. Like, I, I just I don't feel know like if they ever answer that question, to be honest with you, even in the game. They didn't. They didn't and I don't know any. Street Fighter that has ever I mean I'm probably gonna go look it up tonight honestly but I'm gonna be like because I I never heard of like like how is it already in him how is it already born because they said that's um, the only like, thing that makes sense yeah it it, it does and because they he uh the in, the instructor said Mudo Hado is the place of nothingness like you're not yeah. you're not evil but you're not light you're just you're calm that's like when you're at your well most that's where so in the game Ryu has dark Ryu. And that's where he, he ends up using it. He couldn't think of it. It's just that simple. That, well, I, well, I think they could have came up with something better, but as soon as he changed, I was like, oh, there goes dark Ryu. But then I was just but I kept saying, I was like, I wonder if that's like his son, man. I just it makes like how you said it only makes perfect sense, but yeah. And so they literally end this with um uh huh. the two brothers getting ready to face each other, but they don't show really? the their stance and everything. That pissed me off. Mm -hmm. Damn. So let me ask you guys this: Do you guys think this would have flowed a little bit better if they didn't do the flashbacks and they just started showing us what happened with the two brothers and just lead up to Ken and uh, Ryu instead of doing the back four? If they would have switched it around, yeah, that would have. I think it would have. I think it would. I think that would have worked for me also. Because yeah. sometimes you know, if I'm into a um, Ken and Ryu story. And then they go back to a flashback. It kind of, it's kind of jarring. Like, wait a minute, hold, what's going on now? What you happened? <laughs> annoying. Huh? You said jarring. Yeah. 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 I, I, I like that word because that's what people in Great Britain. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, what's going on? Hey, shout, out, hey, shout, out to all my, shout out to all my UK mates. Thank you. Angel, right now, Angel, right now, you are off duty. You're not teaching. You don't have to teach your girlfriend right now. Well, You're well, holding class. <laughs> it's because I watch a podcast, and it's these guys from the UK, and they say jarring and all this other that, right? So my oh, okay. brother, I try to get my brother to watch it, and he's like, what does that mean? And what does this mean? I'm like, oh, that means this. Oh, that means that. And I told him, I was like, I'm part UK now because I like wouldn't know everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was like, yeah, it's just start speaking with an accent. And we're gonna, we're gonna be worried. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I'll start I, just in the middle. I'll just be like piss posh and I just walk away. That's just that. <laughs> yeah, I'm on now. I'm on that now. <laughs> so, um, all right, what you guys think of the movie? What grade would you give it? You go ahead, Joe. Um, so I want to give it a high grade, but the ending really got me. And uh, some of the other things, but I'm still gonna. I'm I'm good with a B, just a solid B. I was gonna say I'm the same. Like thing. The... Say the same. Ha! Yes, a B. That's fucking crazy. A B. That's what are you crazy. giving an angel? I was gonna give it. An a. <laughs> we know. I was gonna, I was gonna give listen, it an A. Listen, we know you're the Paula Abdul of the show. That's all <laughs> <we're doing. laughs> You're the that nice one. The year. That You're the, the nice year. one. It's okay. <laughs> I still love you. It's all right. Like the lowest I could give it is like a B plus, but I, even that hurts, like an A minus because of the ending. Besides that, it was great. No, it was fine. A B is a solid. I'll take fine. a B. It's better than fine. <laughs> okay. I'm actually in agreeing with them, Angel. I'm giving it a B also. You don't even know. Um, <laughs> He just says an F for everything. Hey, I'm, this is a B. <laughs> so you should be happy that I'm giving this a B. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But listen, listen. Like, only thing, Angel, just the two and a half hours. And it was, if this was produced solely to be a movie, they would have did a better job on the editing. And 
you know, just by that, I, I that, that's why I give it a B. Other than that, I had no complaints. Nothing really dumb happened. Everything made sense. Yeah. Um, there, it really wasn't boring. You know, it kept my attention. So, you know, I, it was I just say editing and just a little bit too much information. You with um, crazy. I don't think anyone's ever said too much information in a movie. That's wild. Um, you have. So been... you think? So you think that the uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League is perfect for to be a four hour movie? I mean, I like the movie, but if compared I was in the movie theater, I would have been pissed. Compared to everything else that they do, I would much rather get too much than too little. Like you know how that goes with these people. Like they don't. I don't know, man. You're killing me with that. <laughs> but it's funny because you saying that you actually have me looking at movies completely different for now. Like even just earlier, we were watching just Batman Forever and Batman and Robin, like the George mm-hmm. Clooney version, right? Even though they're like dumb and stupid, they're not really like even though they're dumb and stupid, they're not that good. But like I'm literally sitting there watching it, like kind of like you, like this is dumb. Why the hell did they? At one point, he said, "Holy rusted metal, Batman." And I was yeah. like, and I, yeah. it, I was like, I was like, why did they put that there? They didn't even need to be there. Like they had no reason. And but they I'm like, for the TV look, show, they did I'm it because of like you now. I'm starting to like look at stuff, and I'm just like, but why is that there? That has no like. I'm starting to like look at movies completely different. So I'm like, well, this was dumb and that was stupid. Like that makes no sense to me at all. So, so I, I, I can understand what you mean. Like it, the way they composed it was not its best work at all. But still, it still it kills the original Street Fighter movie. So I'm I'm okay. It feels Any way day. better. Any day. Any day. All Any right. Idea so- what we're doing next? Because I got nothing. Yeah, I sent you guys a message a little while ago. I, <laughs> I didn't I, want to. Just I, I could think of something. You, you just let me know. Go for it. Okay, cool. We should do American Ninja. We haven't finished it. I think it's best if we just, we just move forward. <laughs> it's never, you know what? You know what, Joe? Let's just say, fuck it. Let's get, let's get it over with. He is never going to stop it. Between so what are we this doing then? Too? And Rocky. <laughs> Between this and Rocky. I was gonna say Rocky, again. but I said I'm gonna. I said, but I was like, I'm gonna wait because we're saving those. Let's so, go ahead and do American Ninja Two. It's it's too weird. We we saw the first one, uh, Joe. Yeah, round two. We did. We did. So we'll we'll watch the second one. Let's Thank go ahead God. and finish the series. Like, but wait, hold on. Before I say that, like Angel, like it's not five or six up uh movies, right? Because I'm not watching five or six American Ninjas. Four. Oh shit! So we got three more. <laughs> this is gonna take us into the holidays. <laughs> oh my god! Well, it's, gonna be, right. it's gotta be better than a Christmas miracle. Yes. Yeah. Are you complaining in the game? Like we don't watch the worst movies during Christmas time. You yeah. didn't even watch it. Thank at God. Least, at least you should was, watch it. At least we it should make funny. Angel watch it. At least we got to laugh at something. Like, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna laugh at American Ninja. It, it would was be good. good man. It was good. American Ninja was good. All right. All right. You guys got anything else? Anything coming up? Anything you guys want to plug? No, I'm good. Uh, I mean, besides that, man, next time Jay gets on, we're gonna be on for Valentine's Day. That's it. Besides that. All right. Did you enjoy yourself? <laughs> I did definitely. Did. <laughs> exactly. I got right. first hand. Yeah, first hand. There you go. <laughs> All right, everybody, stay safe, stay strong. We'll holler at you next week. And Joe, we didn't even get to talk about our Michigan Wolverines go blue. <laughs> I said it. I talked about it. Hopefully, Travis don't edit that out. Well, Nick, holler at you next week, and I will play <laughs> our music. <laughs> Disaster must come. At best. Only postponed. Shaolin Kung Fu. To survive must now be taught to more young men.